Dr. Glenn Nagel, this is Dr. Colby Caldwell, and we're at Eclectic Institute today. Yeah, we'd uh, like to take a little bit of time to talk about a, an important concept in, in, in diet and nutrition today, and it's the concept of five to nine, five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables every day. That's what all of the public health agencies are saying that we should be eating. Really, it's not just about working from five to nine, but no, it's about not, That's eating. nine to five. Yeah, <laughs> eating five to nine. That's a lot of vegetables. So what would be a serving of vegetables today? Would this be a serving? So that would be one serving of vegetable. I tried yeah. that. Yeah, sure. But I have to buy it in season. I have to cut it. I have yeah. to keep it cold. So there's issues with eating fresh. So, so why is it important to, uh, to get so many servings of fruits and vegetables in, in your diet? Well, you know, one of the reasons is is that these uh, fresh fruits and vegetables are packed full of nutrients which can actually prevent disease. And uh, you know, we have a bit of a health crisis in this country. We have an obesity epidemic, diabetes is on the rise, heart disease is the number one killer. Yes, and so these are low fat, low, high fiber, low sugar options that people can eat. But one of the issues with is we don't have these in fast food drive-ins. You can't get a, a thing of cilantro through the drive-in, you know? And so the, we all know the things that we should be eating, but I think what the real concern is how do we get people to actually do it? And so we're going to talk about some of the tools today. Eating the fresh is obviously going to be best, but one way people really like to look at they think, well, I'll juice my fruits and vegetables. That will be really healthy. So we have here one of the common juicers. Maybe and demonstrate and one of the things about the juicers is you have to, of course, try to figure out how this goes together. So, you know, you get the juicers out. and oh, well, yeah. There you go. And, there you, and go. you put them together. And this is going to be healthy eating because, right, you get juice and that's supposed wait, to be really Wait, hang on. I think you forgot, to, you forgot to put the heat Yeah, in. this is one of the things. This is one of the reasons I don't like juices is they're time consuming. So we get the juices set up. We get the fresh produce. we got to get it so it's not spoiled. We're going to run it through here. It's going to get time. And then what we're going to end up with is just a I mess. <laughs> well, we end up with our common little juices that you see at the store. This has been juiced and it's been preserved. But the issue on this is they have a very short shelf life. That's right. How long and does this last? You know, it's, it's labor intensive. And you know, the other problem with juicing is that you're throwing away the fiber. Mm -hmm. You know, the bit that comes out, uh, that, that's good stuff too. And you know, the idea of eating whole fruits and vegetables is that you're getting all the fiber with the sugars. And juices ha juicing has a way of concentrating the sugars, <coughs> raising the glycemic right. index. So what about these kinds of juices? You go, you say it's on the go, it's like a vegetable juice in a sure. can. What's wrong with this? Well, there's a couple of problems with something like that, and one of the main ones is it's been pasteurized. It's essentially cooked, and one thing that's, that's known about pasteurization is it does lead to the loss of nutrients. Mm -hmm. There's a certain amount of vitamin C and vitamin A and certain, and all these other nutrients that are in fresh produce. When you pasteurize them, you lose that to some extent. The other problem is they often have additives like salt right. and added sugar. sugars. Uh, so juices are not always the best way so to So that's go. convenient, but it's not the best form. These are convenient, but there's a short shelf life. Uh, what about this? What about blend? a blender? What about a blending? What are the advantages of blending? Well, you're going to get the whole food. You can put it in there. You can blend up and drink the fiber. But one of the disadvantages is that you have to drink this right away or store it in the fridge. Zero shelf life. Zero shelf life. And then the uh, cleanup, just like this. You've got to wash that up. Yes, right. So, so what we would like to show you is a, perhaps an even more convenient way of uh, being able to get another serving of fruits and vegetables into your diet. And what we wanted to do is illustrate this with, uh, with spinach today. And uh, we're going to have uh, Glenn here <coughs> try to I love eat salad. a, serving salad, of, a right? two cup serving of spinach. So a serving of spinach would be half of this. And so I'm going to put about half of it in this bowl here. Though This is pre-washed. So this is about two and a half ounces of spinach. That would be a serving. So I'm going to start working my way on eating this. It's fresh, good spinach. I could make a salad or I could just eat it like this. Now, believe it or not, what I'm going to show you here good. is a little bit of green powder in the bottom of this bowl. This is freeze-dried spinach, and it's exactly the same amount as you have in there. So you're telling me that's the same amount as this? That's right, with only one thing removed, and that's the water. And so all of the nutrients that are in that spinach are in this two, te two teaspoons of powder right here. Two to, maybe not more like four teaspoons of powder that are mm -hmm. here. So that's about approximately about how many grams or ounces? So this, this is the equivalent of about uh, 70 grams of fresh spinach. 
So you're saying this is the same thing. The only That's difference the same as that. is the water is taken out of this. And so it's about 10 times reduction. So let's see how this works. All right. You start going okay, through that. Let's see you get, so you can see how we eat this amount first. Mm. This is good, but it's going to take a while. Well, I don't think I even needed this much water. Wow. There it is. You can see how the color has been preserved through freeze dry. Yeah, I could get through this, but it's going to take a while now. That's just a quick and easy way. So there you go. Mm. So that has a nice fresh flavor. It's like spinach. It tastes like spinach. So you could just drink that down, and you get your serving of fresh spinach. <laughs> I'm guessing I could drink that a lot faster than you could eat mm -hmm. that. And by the way, uh, you better be chewing that well, because if you're not chewing it really, really well, you're not going to get the advantage that I'm getting because of the highly uh, finely ground nature of this. I mean, I have to chew this really well to get the same benefit out of the powder? That's right, because we call it increased bioavailability through the micron micronization. You have a very high surface area on this powder. Your body is able to absorb all of the nutrients quickly. For mother, I said you had to chew your food 40 times. so. This already adds pre -chewed. that advantage, it's pre-chewed. Our commercial uh, juice products, it's a green drink. It's been uh, pasteurized, flash pasteurized, and then heated. And what we're gonna do is compare it to the fresh spinach powder. So I've opened it up here. I'm gonna just compare it to the spinach. So I'm gonna pour it out in this glass jar. And you know, I, I just want you to look and say, well, which one would you rather drink? Fresh freeze-dried spinach rehydrated in water or one of these commercial products that have been on the shelf for a few days? They're both supposed to be green drinks, but how come one is brown? It's the freshness factor. Something that's made instantly and drank instantly is going to be fresher than something that's been sitting. That's a great benefit of that. So any kind of our powder family, starting to introduce all these powder families, many of them have spinach and vegetables. These can be used as quick and convenient tools to tool help you get. To get another serving of fruits and vegetables today, to per day to help you achieve your nine to five. Mm -hmm. Five to nine. <laughs> five to nine, yes. Five to nine. Or so. so that's one serving, that's one serving. You can add that in with the meal or as part of the meal or as an in-between snack or a pick-me-up. So the whole variety of family of powders can give us uh, these servings of fruits and vegetables that everybody needs. Great. Thanks for coming today. It's a pretty big crew, but I don't see any muffins, and you know, there's usually a nice big spread out. Oh,